Hello friends, today we are going to learn C type strings, how to take the input C type strings and how to display the output on the output screen in case of arrays. Okay, so let's learn from the basics. First of all, what is C type array? An array ends with the null character. First of all, what is null character? So, null character. Okay, this is the null character. This is called null character. So, any string ends with null character is called a C type string. It is the responsibility of the compiler to input the null character after all the strings. A string without null character is called the character of array but not string so remember that null character is very important to define a C type string okay so now let's learn how to first of all how to declare a C type string there are two ways to declare a C type string the first character array character array we can de define character array with single characters for example I am going to you display pool okay so pool pool and this O comma and this arrow okay so C type string must end with a null character Okay, so last in last we have to insert null character. Remember that this is not O. If this is zero, the ST well ST values for the null character is zero. And point to be noted is that null character null character is not equal to zero. Okay. The ST code of zero is forty eight and the ST code of null character is zero okay so this is the first way to declare and the second way second way is the flexibility is provided provided to the programmer and this is we have to just write o in the double inverted commas here we, you can ask why we have not why we are not placing the null character so in this type of declaration this is the responsibility of the compiler to to insert the null character at the last of the string okay at the end of the string so now let's use this concept in a simple program so has include stdo dot h okay now let's First, we are going to use simply pool. Printf. Percent s. Okay. So this is an array. Okay. Percent s is the format specifier. used for the string type. We can also use we can also use the percent C but for that we have to print the characters one by one. For example, okay let's print by percent C also. So uh, for equal to zero before we can use the more flexible while loop okay for i i not equal to not equal to null character 
because we know that in the last of the any C type string there is a null character. Then AI not equal to null character. Let's print print open C AI and if I do front implement okay and this I it should be initialized with zero. Okay. Now this is done. It's done zero. Save. So we have saved this character test cat uh, in my folder coding. So now let's run this. First of all clear this. Okay. To run first of all open the terminal in the folder that contains that program then type gcc hyphen o then the file name again the file name with extension okay so this is compiled successfully now let's execute to execute write dot backslash and then the name of the file that is cadet okay so this is pool first pool and this is the second pool okay notice that the print <coughs> print f function doesn't the print f function does not include the and line character okay so in this case no and line uh, and in this case also there is no and line so how to insert and line you can insert and line after this line or you can insert simply after this line also Okay. Now we can run again. Then, okay. So this is pool and this is pool. This is the drawback of printf while handling the string. So in case of printf, we can use simply put function, which which in case okay put function gives more flex flexibility and doesn't have to include any for format specifier for example percent s or percent c and put also includes the and line characters its own so let's write the same program with put function so we have to only okay now let's run okay so it's working so we have learned how to initialize the character function okay now take now we are going to learn how to give the how to take input from the user okay now let's take input from the user to get the input, let's first define the character array. Take a variable character array and then ask the user to enter the string. Okay, now let's get A. So, this is the simplest replacement of the scanner function because it doesn't include first of all it doesn't include any format it doesn't need any format specifier and the second advantage is this it can take multi word input which we cannot take with the scanner function so we are printing and then Sorry, we are getting input and then printing on the display screen. Okay. So, oh, first of all, display the page. Okay. Now, run the program. Okay. So, note that the get function is dangerous and should not be used, but it's compiled fine and then run. 
okay so enter the string uh, this is working okay so this is working okay we can also use a scanner function but uh, the scanner has some disadvantage in case of string because it doesn't take input multi word multi word statement this is the biggest disadvantage of a scanner let's check a scanner so a scanner scanner okay for simple comma okay now so compile run enter this this is working so we have taken a statement of three words this is working but this only displays this the first word so this is a drawback of a scanner function because it doesn't after a white space it doesn't it places a null ca character and that's why this is the complete string but we have entered a multi word so how can we overcome this problem we can also we can overcome this problem of the scanner by placing this slash and and this so this can above this uh, now this is this scanner is able to take input a multi word string now let's see how okay so it's working okay so this is working also with this with scanner okay this is working with scanner okay now notice this is why this is the stack is matching detected so as i earlier told that the compiler of c is not responsible for the bound checking in case of char array or any type of array so it's the user responsibility okay we have inputted a string of length greater than 25 for uh, 1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and so on. Twenty-five is the limit, but we have inputted more than twenty-five characters in the character. That's why we are getting the this notification. In fact, it's matching detected. When the size is greater, when the string is greater than the char size, then there may be a chance that the other memory area gets collided with your strings, and the other area may be overwritten, or the important notes may be overwritten. So it's your responsibility that you should take care of the string input. Okay. So for today. This is enough. See you on next video. Till then, have fun. Like and subscribe my videos. Bye.